we are, probably for the first time, having a look around the first stage of our middle school. This will house a number of the, the classes across the college, particularly Year 7 and Year 8. Uh, it's been wonderful to go from, from cleaning out this space, putting the building on here. We have, as you look around us, a couple of science laboratories, classroom in between. This is going to be a very productive space for the kids to learn in. So this is only the first of a series of buildings that will form the, the final middle school block. This will be the end of the building work for a period of time though. Out here, just below me, is going to be landscape. So we'll have a very big play area and a space here for the kids. It'll run right through to the senior block and then up through to the, the multi-purpose centre. And the great news is as we watch the progress of the church being built, we're seeing that it will finish pretty well on time at the end of the year as well. So it's going to be a great year of construction on this campus. And at the end of the year, uh, a bit of a quiet time and a bit of a slowdown on that process as we just settle in and enjoy these, uh, these new facilities. This term we had our annual athletics carnival where we had our four houses, Fitzroy, Denison, Hunter and Philip compete together. Despite a cold, wet, windy day, students competed well and house spirit was high. It was excellent to have parents, staff and students combining in the name of competition. With many records broken, it was a great day had by all. So early this term we undertook our plan, years 3, 5, 7 and 9, year 3 got to give it a go for the first time ever. What was special about the way we did it this year, we did it totally online. So students got to use their devices um, to answer the questions and I even had some students saying that NAPLAN was really fun this year. So now it's all submitted and we're just waiting back to hear back about how we went. In the first week of Term 2, Hills of Venice College had their WOW Week which stands for Week of Worship. And we had the famous Jonathan Leonardo fly in from Hawaii to deliver an amazing message on the love reality. Sharing with our students an amazing picture of God's love for us. So we had drama, we had special items, we had worship. We had a whole lot of aspects where the kids really got involved, showcased their talents that God has given them to their school community. Not only that, we had over 100 kids put up their hands for Bible studies and over 20 kids wanted to be baptized. So God really showed up that week. This term we've got about 20 year five kids um, as part of our Maker Club and they've been learning about 3D modeling, 3D printing and they've all designed their own little key tags and they're also working on their own personal projects. Um, they're learning about how to make things on the computer for, uh, for printing in real life and then soon we're going to get into getting them to uh, learn how to actually make things to perform an actual function, so solving some problems on the computer as well. Year 6 went to Canberra last week for their camp and it was freezing. We took 54 kids down and had an amazing time visiting places like CSIRO, the War Memorial, Parliament House and Questacon just to name a few. A real highlight of the camp was actually Parliament House. We got to see the session time which is not normally on when we visit Canberra. So the kids were able to sit up in the gallery up the top of um, Parliament House and watch the parliamentarians argue back and forward and hear the language that they don't normally hear and they were shocked actually. We also got to do some abseiling and um, some high ropes which um, was the first time for some of these kids to actually push themselves um, beyond what they normally do and to then um, yeah, go outside their comfort zone and to do these activities. Uh, we didn't get a lot of sleep, however, it was a really great time away. Band camp this year, we went down to Crosslands as we do every year and we had five students from our school attend um, from years four and five. They got to spend three days playing the instrument and being in an ensemble with other kids from other Adventist schools around Sydney and even Canberra came up to participate as well. Yeah, we spent not just time doing music, we actually had some time to do games and activities and make new friends and um, the kids had a really, really good time and at the end we finished with a concert. The kids found this a really valuable way to have performance experience that they may not get at school um, with the smaller ensembles that we have here. For our Year 10 Food Tech assignment this term, our task as a class was to prepare a healthy lunch for the new kindy students on campus. The food we prepared for them had to apply to the Australian Dietary Guidelines to ensure they were receiving the correct nutritional needs for their age group, which is five years old. In pairs, we prepared a dish to serve to the kindy students. 
food that we prepared included oat and sultana cookies, fruit skewers, pizza scrolls, frozen yogurt, mini vegetable burgers and veggie chips and much more. The kindies really enjoyed it. They loved the wide variety of food they were presented and overall our food tech class enjoyed interacting with the kindy students. On the Castle Hill campus, chapel has been a highlight this term. We were especially blessed to have Dylan Stain, one of our college captains, come and speak to us about overcoming fear with God's help. This year we had 35 entries into our Junior School Science Fair, covering topics from Tricks Your Eyes Play on Your Mind, Lemon Power vs Potato Power, and What Gets Rid of the Heat from Chilies the Fastest. It was great to have every student involved and hear what they had learnt throughout the process. Castle Hill Campus hosted the Adventist School's Soccer Gala Day, where some of our Year 3 and 4 students competed in a round-robin competition against the other Adventist schools in Greater Sydney. Another great term has come to an end. Um, we want to thank you, parents, teachers, students, for your contribution, for your help, um, for making it a great term. Um, we want to wish you the best on the break and we pray that you have a safe trip if you're traveling um, and just a relaxing time. Come back prepared for term three to do it all over again. God bless.